CentralFloridaPolitics.com, where Central Florida turns for political news. I'm going to welcome a representative to the Florida House for District 41, now serving his second term. Way to go, Party Point First. And thinking of running against big spending party for Congress. Everybody welcome with me, Mr. Steve Freehart. Hey, everybody. It's a great day to be here. Thanks for coming out to see all these great speakers. Uh, happy birthday, America, and I want to take a personal point of privilege. Today is my eldest daughter's 17th birthday as well, so I'm going to go back and go to a surprise party for her. It's not much of a surprise now, but right after this. So happy birthday, and thanks for being out here in the heat. I want to say and announce one thing here today. You heard a great man speaking earlier, Marco Rubio. And there's not a lot of us in the Florida legislature that have the backbone to come out and endorse him right now. But I want to tell you publicly and announce it to the press and the like today that I'm endorsing Marco Rubio in the Senate campaign for, for 2010. The biggest reason we're out here today, though, is to remember the establishment of our country's independence and the great sacrifices, and there have been many over the years that have made for our freedom to be here doing this right now. Even though we had to pay $7,000 to do it, we are free to be out here organizing like this. In particular, I want to thank all the men and women in the military and their families that are here today and that are around the world listening to this for their service to us. Thank you very much. I also bring you some good news from the House of Representatives in the state of Florida. On July 1st of this year, Representative Work, Rich Workman, along with a half a dozen of, of, of the others of us in the Florida House, filed House Memorial 19 reasserting Florida's state sovereignty and opposing the increasing control by the federal government over the many aspects of our lives. A lot of you have heard this. I think a lot of you have heard this referred to in the past as the Tenth Amendment Resolution. That Tenth Amendment says, and we need to remember this, that the power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited to the states, are reserved to the states, respectively, or to the people. Well, our Founding Fathers never, in their wildest imaginations, intended for or imagined that we'd have a federal government of the size and scope and audacity that we have today. This House Memorial recognizes and serves to demand that the federal government from the state, from the people of the state of Florida, the feds cease issuing mandates beyond those constitutionally delegated powers and reasserts Florida's sovereignty. So I encourage you to go add your names to FloridaFreedom.org to those supporting this amendment and let's get this sent up to Washington and put them on notice. Well, on Independence Day, you've heard some other speakers talk already. We need to remember a much more important document than that House resolution, and that's our Declaration of Independence. Much of it's pertinent to our days and our lives today as well. Now, I won't read any anything of it. We've had a number of people who have read uh, quite a bit from it. But our forefathers wrote this short and concise document as a declaration against the tyranny and the elitist monarchy which they, by which they were ruled at the time. And they said some real brief things like, whenever any form of government becomes destructive of, toward, of, of us being able to lead free lives and have our liberty, then it's the right of the people to alter or abolish it and establish a new government. They also specifically list out the long train of abuses and usurpations with the objective of putting the states under tyrannical rule by which they intended to throw off the uh, Great Britain's rule at the time. And we today, I subject to you, are being subjected to a very long train of tyranny and usurpations by the federal government of our rights as a state and our rights as people. So is everybody out there tired of the feds taking over banking and credit cards and the automobile industry and the energy industry and healthcare? 
just for starters, we're not even past a couple hundred days. And this, this, this regime, I want to call it, is, is taking over huge parts of our lives. Well, I don't know about you, but our, when our far, forefathers wrote that Declaration of Independence, they were mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. I'm mad as hell. And I encourage you to get mad as hell and get out there and do something about it. And I want to thank you for being here because by your very presence here today, you are showing that you are people of action and you're going to do something about it. This is the simmering in the bottom of the pot before the water comes to a boil. You folks are doing God's work out here. Thomas Jefferson said, eternal vigilance is the price of liberty and we must continue to be vigilant in defending our way of life. Edmund Burke, and you hear this, it's almost cliche, but it's so applicable, says all that's necessary for the forces of evil to win in this world is for enough good men to do nothing. Well, we must take action. We must defend and retake our way of life. It's, it's, the horses are out of the barn, folks. We have to go round them up and get them back in. So these tea parties are a call to action. I want you to not just leave here and go home and listen to Sean Hannity and Rush Limbaugh and all, all those great names that I listen to, of course. But you need to take action. Take action where you are in your communities, with your neighbors and your friends and your churches and those that you're members of clubs to, clubs with. Hold others who are who are noting their dissatisfaction, hold them accountable. We need to show our neighbors and countrymen that tough love that is leadership towards making them get in the game as well, get into action. Join with others to act. There's lots of good groups here today, you know, that you can sign up with and that you can participate in, but don't just sign up. Get involved and help them recruit more people, organize events, and get some things done. This is a critical point, and I don't say it lightly, in the course of our of human events, not just for our nation, but since our nation is really the only true, strong light of liberty left in this world, if we lose it here, there is no place else to go. It's time to stand and fight. The choice is yours. Choose wisely. Happy Fourth of July, friends. God bless you. God bless your families. May God continue to bless America.